In June 2025, two rare naked eye novas lit up the night sky just days apart. V462 Lupi in Lupus and V572 Valorum in Vela. Both were white dwarfs in binary systems that erupted after drawing in matter from companion stars. Astronomers believe this may be the first time in recorded history that two such bright novas appeared so close together. On June 12th, a nova named V462 Lupi appeared in the constellation Lupus. Within days, it brightened dramatically, reaching an apparent magnitude of plus 5.5 by June 20. That made it just barely visible to the naked eye under dark skies, especially in the southern hemisphere. Then, on June 25th, astronomers reported a second nova, V572 Valorum, in the constellation Vela. This nova brightened even more rapidly and peaked at plus 4.8 magnitude by June 27th, making it more clearly visible without optical aids. Both novas were detected independently by observers using small telescopes and automated survey systems. As they were confirmed and reported across observatories and astronomy networks, it became clear that this wasn't a typical occurrence. Classical novas occur in binary star systems, where a white dwarf pulls gas from its companion. Over time, the gas builds up on the dwarf's surface. When enough accumulates, it triggers a thermonuclear reaction, ejecting the gas in an explosion that produces a sudden spike in brightness. These eruptions don't destroy the white dwarf, unlike supernovae. The star survives, and in some cases, the process may repeat after decades or centuries. What made this event unique wasn't the physics, it was the timing and visibility. Most classical novas either aren't bright enough to see without a telescope or don't occur close together. Even in historical records, events like this are extremely scarce. Astronomer Stephen O'Mara noted that the closest comparable instance was in 1936, but even then, the two stars didn't peak in brightness at the same time. By contrast, V462 Lupi and V572 Valorum were not only overlapping in time, but also both visible with the unaided eye, a condition rarely met for these types of stellar events. Novae offer astronomers a way to study how white dwarfs in close binaries behave during sudden mass ejection events. By comparing V462 Lupi and V572 Valorum in real time, researchers can analyze their light curves and how quickly they fade, spectral shifts and color changes, the amount and composition of ejected material. Initial observations reveal differences between the two. V572 Velarum initially appeared with a bright blue-white hue, while V462 Lupi showed a purple tint. As expected, both began shifting toward the red part of the spectrum, something typical in novas as shorter wavelength blue light diminishes more quickly than red. Color evolution helps astronomers model how hot the expanding material is and how it cools over time. It also gives insight into the dust formation process, which can affect light scattering and dimming rates. Because the explosions did not destroy the white dwarfs, future monitoring can reveal if either system develops into a recurrent nova, as seen in systems like T. Coronae Borealis, which erupts roughly every 80 years. Comparing first-time novae like these with recurrent systems could help scientists understand why some white dwarfs flare up repeatedly while others don't. The overlapping timing also allows teams to calibrate observational methods. Differences in telescopes, instruments, and exposure strategies can be evaluated for consistency when watching near-identical phenomena. In practice, this improves future NOVA studies and may assist in refining detection thresholds for early stage eruptions. Beyond the technical data, this dual NOVA event underscores how much we still have to learn. Questions remain, why did both events occur so close in time? Are we underestimating how frequently such bright NOVAs appear? And could enhanced global detection networks be revealing more such coincidences?
By early July 2025, both novas were already starting to dim, but may remain detectable for some time, especially with binoculars or telescopes. Observers in the Southern Hemisphere have the best view. The constellations Lupus and Vela are both prominent in the evening sky during winter months in places like Australia, Chile, South Africa, and Argentina. From the Northern Hemisphere, visibility is limited. V462 Lupi may be glimpsed low on the southern horizon from southern U.S. states such as Texas or California. V572 Valorum is further south and only marginally visible from lower latitudes like southern Mexico or the Canary Islands. To locate them, observers can use stargazing apps like Stellarium or Sky Safari. These apps will guide users to the constellations and highlight the approximate coordinates. Observers are advised to seek out dark sky locations and allow their eyes time to adjust to the night. Though visible to the naked eye during their peak, both novas are now fading. The light curves will continue to be monitored by astronomers and amateur observers alike. Some may exhibit long tails in brightness or enter secondary stages such as dust dips which could obscure them temporarily before another brief brightening. While these individual novas may not erupt again in our lifetimes, they are now part of ongoing catalogs of transient events. Observatories will track their cooling, expansion, and spectral evolution in the coming weeks and compare those measurements with past and future events to refine models of nova mechanics. This rare double nova highlights a growing trend not more sky events, but better detection. Thanks to AI, robotic telescopes, and global sky watchers, even brief outbursts are now spotted. Next up, T. Coroni Borealis, the blaze star, which could erupt soon and outshine both 2025 novas. The near simultaneous appearance of two naked eye novas, V462 Lupi and V572 Valorum, offered a rare chance to study twin stellar explosions under similar conditions. While both are fading, the data gathered will advance nova science. It's a striking reminder that the cosmos still has surprises, especially with more tools and eyes watching the sky than ever before.